when we want to talk about the amount of stuff in the air, we do that in terms of concentrations. And there's two different ways we can do that usually, either by the mass concentration or the volume concentration. For the mass concentration, I'll use the variable C, which will often be in terms of milligrams per cubic meter or maybe micrograms per cubic meter. And it's equal to the mass of the pollutant of interest divided by the volume of air containing that pollutant. For example, the National Ambient Air Quality Standard for carbon monoxide is 10 milligrams per cubic meter. So the concentration is not supposed to exceed that value. The second way that we talk about concentrations in air is the volumetric concentration sometimes called the mixing ratio, especially by atmospheric scientists. Now, if somebody says the concentration, then it's ambiguous. You don't know whether it's the mass concentration or the volume concentration. You'd have to look at the units or ask. I will use the variable Y, and that will often have units of percent or parts per million, which we write as PPM, or maybe parts per billion. Sometimes you'll see a little V in parentheses after that to indicate that it's uh, by volume and not by mass. And this is the volume of the pollutant. Divided by the volume of the air including that pollutant. And so this might be, for example, the cubic meters of the pollutant divided by the cubic meters of air. And because volume scales with moles, this is also equal to the moles of pollutant per mole of total air. So for example, the carbon monoxide standard in volumetric concentration units is nine parts per million. And what that means is nine times 10 to the minus six cubic meters of CO per cubic meters of air, or nine times 10 to the minus six moles of CO per moles of air. So to talk a little bit more about units for the volumetric concentration, uh, you're familiar, I'm sure, with percent. So a concentration of 1% means that we have 10 to the minus 2 cubic meters of pollutant per cubic meters of air. If we have 1 ppm, that means we have 10 to the minus 6 cubic meters of pollutants per of that pollutant per cubic meter of air. 1 part per billion is 10 to the minus nine, the same thing. One part per trillion is 10 to the minus 12 cubic meters of that pollutant per cubic meter of air. And I wanna point out that this is different from how we talk about concentrations in water when we use PPM in water, PPM is mass-based 
and we just say that one ppm is equal to one uh, milligram per liter, but that's not, we can't just apply that in air. And you'll, you'll see in the next set of slides how we do that conversion. So in general, we would convert among these different measures, for example, from ppm to ppb by multiplying by a thousand since one ppm is equal to 1000 ppb. On a polluted summer day in Blacksburg, the ambient ozone concentration is 70 ppb parts per billion. Convert this concentration to ppm. We'll do this one two different ways. First of all, I can go straight, as I showed earlier, that if I want to go from 70 ppb to ppm, I know that there are, that we're talking about a difference of a factor of a thousand. And so I need to go to ppm. I need to cancel out, get the parts per billion to cancel out. So that goes in the denominator. And I know there's a factor of a thousand here. Let's see, it goes in the denominator since we have 1000 parts per billion per one ppm. And that gives me 0 0.070 ppm. Method two, let's say I don't want to go through those gymnastics in my head and I want to do this in a fail safe way. What I can do is divide by one billion, 10 to the ninth parts per billion to get that to cancel out and multiply by 10 to the six parts per million PPM. It's like multiplying and dividing by one and I get 0 0.070 PPM. In this example, we're going to work in percentages. Here, ambient air contains 21% oxygen, O2. Convert this to ppm. So using method one, we're going straight from percent to ppm. So we want, we know that we have percent in the, and we want to cancel that out. So that needs to go in the denominator. We want to go to ppm in the numerator. I know that we're looking at 10 to the minus two to 10 to the minus six. So that's a factor of 10 to the four different. 10 to the 4 ppm is equal to 1%. So it's like I'm uh, multiplying by 1 here. And this is 210,000 ppm. And method 2, we'll get the same answer, of course. But we take our 21%, we divide by 100%, which is like dividing by 1. And then we multiply by 10 to the 6 ppm, 1 million parts per million, which is like multiplying by one, and we get 210,000 again.